hello friends welcome you all today we are going to learn about the pest management by modifying insect development and behavior this is nothing but the one of the new tools of the integrated pest management with the help of this insect behavior how we can manage the insect population in our field these are the different methods that is nothing but the recent or newer or bio rational methods of the pest control what is actually bio rational pest control the methods in which agents or chemicals that affects the insect behavior growth or reproduction and the because of their selective nature in killing only the target insects without affecting on non target organism that chemicals is also called as the bio rational pesticides or the chemicals and the methods is called as the bio rational controls or bio rational methods in this bio rational methods these are just some of the new techniques in that communication in insects behavioral alteration semio chemicals pheromones allele chemicals catechin synthesis inhibitors attractants repellents and antifeedants are the different uh, chemicals we can use to alter the behavioral behavioral change of the insects let us see one by one the the first is that um, what is the need to know about the insect behavior in integrated pest management uh, if you see the adoption of the technologies to manipulate the insect behavior in agriculture system is nowadays is very slow and the arrival, uh, arrival of the cheaper chemicals control with the broad insectal activity that is nothing but the design behind the uh, how uh, where, uh, how the uh, insect behavior application techniques uh, in pest management control is agriculture system is slow or very low then next one increasing the public awareness of the negative effect of the broad spectrum insecticides on humans and non target organism this is also one of the uh reasons behind uh, why we can use this uh, behavioral behavior of the insects in ipm then after that the united states the uh, environmental protection agency uh, implemented the food Ad protection act in 1996 then after adoption of the alternative pest management pesticides manipulation of the pest behavior and the to promote the transition from the insecticide based to more ecologically integrated pest management based on the programs so Uh, these are the some of the reasons behind this why uh, we should uh, use these techniques in insect pest management then after um, since then many conventional insecticides have been replaced by low risk or bio rational pesticides and they should uh, reduce the risk pesticides then chemicals that affect the growth development biology and the ecology of the pest species differently from that the beneficial species and it is nothing but the low toxicity to the non target organism these are the some of the Uh, you can say that the importance of the uh, these uh, biorational pesticides <laughs> then uh, what is exploitation in pest management these methods advances in chemical technology in the last 3 decades have allowed to discovery uh, identification and synthesis, uh, synthesis of the specific chemicals that regulates or mediate growth and development and species behavior that may be caused due to the premature death and the attracting or repelling towards the source then which are the different techniques we can involve in this newer methods that is the we can use a insect communication techniques the insect communicate to each other by means of auditory organs by means of visual organs then olfactory receptors and the tactile receptors uh, if you see the communication in insects the control strategy against the insect pest involve some sort of change to their behavior through chemicals that is nothing but the volatile or non volatile compounds or feeding deterrents it is visual or it will be auditory signals it means that the communication of insect it is by means of a chemicals visual and auditory signals manipulating pest behavior for the control known for the centuries through the practice of the trap cropping is also the, for example the food lures and the baits with pesticide to control the household pests these are the some of the communication uh, techniques we can use then the first and most important um, we can say that the biorational pesticides or the technique is that insect attractants here what is the attractant 
the chemical that cause insects to make orientated movement towards their source called as insect attractor and also called as a food lures and this is nothing but the influence by the gustatory and the olfactory receptors it is present in the insects and these are the some of the important food lures we can use to attract the insect in our field that is the sugarcane plus molasses that is the lure most used against house fly geraniol it is used as a attractant for japanese beetle then these are the some of the also the examples we can use as a food lures to attract the insects then next is antifeeders or feeding deterrents what is this the antifeeders are those chemicals which inhibits feeding in insects when applied on the foliage without necessarily killing or repelling they are also called as gustatory repellents feeding deterrents and the rejectants since do not feed on the treated surface they die due to the starvation the first antifeeders that is the zinc salt of diethyl uh, diethyl diethyl carbonic acids again the rodents and the insects to prevent the feeding on the bark of the trees this is the antifeeders then these are the some of the antifeeders we can use against the different insect pest populations especially if you see the, here the azadiractan it is the extracted from the neem uh, our uh, neem tree and is used as a antifeeders against the locust then these are the some of the group of antifeeders the first one is the triazine groups this triazine groups uh, in that the ac24055 is the mostly widely used triazines and this is used which inhibits feeding in shaving uh, and biting type of insect like caterpillar cockroach and beetles the next group of antifeeders is organo tins here the triphenyl tin acetate is an important antifeeders and it is effective against the cotton leaf worm colorado potato beetle caterpillar and the grasshoppers the next group carbamates here the thiocarbamates and the phenyl carbamates it is act as antifeeders for the leaf eating insects and uh, here the bagon it is a systemic antifeeders against the cotton boll we will then here the some of the botanicals pyrethrum neem apple factor solanum alkaloids and these are some of the miscellaneous compounds these are all the antifeeders we can use against the different insect pest population next is repellents the chemical that induce avoiding movement in insects away from their source they prevent the insect damage to plants by rendering them unattractive unpalatable of the or offensive then allied materials that do not cause movement away but do prevent feeding or oi position by the insect deterrents and repellent a volatile chemicals and activity in a vapor phase these are the some of the types of the repellents physical repellents and chemical repellents in that physical repellents we can use a different uh, uh, contact stimuli that is the different oils then auditory repellent that is the sounds for mosquito then a barrier repellents for nothing but the tar bands against the mosquito nets sorry mosquito nets then visual repellents that is the yellow light attracted towards the ins yellow light it is one of the effective source to attract the insects then feeding repellents uh in that uh, here next group is chemical repellents and the repellent from the plant origin that is nothing but different oils which is which will be extracted from the difference that is the citronella camphor cedar uh, it act as a repellent then commercial mosquito repellent odomas use a citronella oil extracted from the lemon grass and uh, uh, here <coughs> it act as a repellent then uh these are the list of important synthetic repellents it is available in markets against the different insect pest populations the next is igr insect growth regulators what is this this igr which interferes with growth development and metamorphosis of the insects or the synthetic compound possessing a activities of the juvenile and the molting hormone of the insects are called as a insect growth regulator also called as juvenile hormone mimics also called as juvenile hormone analog also called as juvenoids it means that the insect growth regulator it directly affect on the metamorphosis of the insects it act on the endocrine system of the insects and it is effective only in mature stages of the insect and no adult sidel effect it includes specially if you see the jh mimics anti jh and the chitin synthesis inhibitor uh what is the 
actual role of the IGR. It is anti-metamorphosis anti effect, then larvicidal effect, ovicidal effect, diapause dispersing effect, and embryogenesis inhibiting effect. It means that the IGR it directly affect on the metamorphosis of insect. Larvicidal means it attack on the larval stage of the insects. Ovicidal means it attack on the oh, eggs of the insects. Or, or it is effective against the eggs. Then diapause condition it also effective against diapause condition and it also affect on the embryogenesis which is uh, happen inside the eggs. Then this is one of the inventions. It is carried out by the one scientist that is Slam and Williams in 1967 that invention called as a paper factor and the paper factor invention it is directly related to the insect growth regulator here this invention is carried out by the, the scientists in the bug that is the fire bug pyrocoris apteris this factor paper factor experiment was related to the juvenile hormone mix specially they found that the paper towel which developed from the balsam tree kept in glass jar used for rearing of the pyrocoris bug caused the bug to die before reaching adult stage. They name the factor from the paper as paper factor or jovian. They found that the paper was manufactured from the wood pulp of balsam fire tree which contained the juvenile hormone mimics. The most potent, potent chemical component was later identified as jovian, the methyl ester of todomatic acid which is produced by the trees in response to wounding it mimics juvenile hormone mimics it means that they just rear the insect that is the fire bugs on the paper that paper it is made up from the one tree that is balsam tree and the balsam trees having the juvenile hormone mimics content uh, this is the fire bugs and this is the balsam tree it will directly uh, attack on the uh, effect again the uh, immature stages of the insects here the bugs do not form the adults in a paper factor case then types of insect growth regulator the first one is juvenile hormone mimics it is given by the williams lama and uh, here juvenile hormone mimics are larvicidal and ovicidal in action for example, methoprene, phenoxicar, novaluron, pyrifroxifen are the different juvenile hormones. The phenoxicarp it is specially used for fire ant management and also used for sterilize the queen of the colony of the termites. Then pyrifroxifen used against flies and mosquito, methoprene used against mosquito larvae, and the novaluron used for the lepidopteran insects. Next, anti juvenile hormones. Tested plant extracted from the antagonistic activity of juvenile hormones. The discover anti juvenile activity from the bedding plants and here if you see the bedding plant in this picture or in these slides also known as floss powers blue mink or blue weed uh, next one is a insect growth regulator uh, sorry uh, chitin synthesis inhibitors the chemical which interferes with the biosynthesis and the deposition of the insects and act on this chitin synthesis it prevents the acetylation of the glucose to form a glucosoamine which one of the component of the insect exoskeleton. Then these are the some of the examples of the chitin synthesis inhibitor. And the diflubenzeron is the first chitin synthesis inhibitor commercially available has been used to control the various insect with population in agriculture. These are the some of the practical IGR available in market against the different insect based population. Uh, these are the some of the chitin synthesis inhibitor with their trade name. Uh, advantages and disadvantages of IGRs effective in minute uh, minute quantities and so are economical target specific non toxic to humans animals and plants and so safe to natural enemies biodegradable non persistent and non polluting in nature then if you see, see the disadvantages kill only certain stages of the insects slow mode of actions and the unstable in the environment this is all uh, about the uh, recent methods of the uh, IPMs that is the biorational methods. Thank you.